father. They're not back yet? No grounds, no. It's good to have a visit with you this afternoon, Mr. Day. Except a fleeting glimpse on the Sabbath. I don't see much of you. Yes, ma'am. Prepare to keep Mr. Day. Come sit down, Claire. You have a busy day at the office. Damn busy. Very busy day. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Claire must work very hard. He always comes home tired. Although how a man can get tired out sitting at his desk all day, I don't know. I suppose Wall Street must be just as much a mystery to you as it is to me, Dr. Lloyd. Oh, no, Mrs. Day. It's all very clear to me. Why, my mind often goes to the business <laughs> The picture I'm most fond of is when I envision him sitting at his desk at the close of the day's work. There he sits, this hard-headed man of affairs, surrounded by the letters that he's been studying, both closely and harshly for hours. Pausing from his toil, by chance he looks out the window at the light in God's sky, and it comes over him that money and letters are dross. Figures of profit and loss are of no importance or consequence, vanity and dust. Then I see this dreaming man bow his head, then gaze up with streaming eyes and resolve to devote his life to far higher and godly things. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> Sound to me. I certainly wouldn't allow any customer of mine. 
mind to invest on what I've heard. We've given it a great deal of thought. I don't see how you call it vague. Dr. Lloyd, you preached that someday we're all going to have to answer to God. We shall indeed. Well, I hope God doesn't ask you any questions with figures in them. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.